Hey everyone, it is long overdue. It is time for an update on how I'm doing my hair, the products that I'm using, what's still in my rotation, what are my old faves I'm still using, and there are some new products to talk about. But first, I have to say that a portion of this video is being sponsored by Lily Silk, and the name may sound familiar to you because I have been using Lily Silk products for a very long time, and I've mentioned them a time or two probably in favorites as well. But it may sound specifically familiar because I have been sleeping in their scrunchies for years. So you may wonder how Lily Silk or any silk products would tie into a hair video. And I will tell you two of the products that I use every night and some every day um, directly affect my hair. So the very first product that I bought from Lily Silk was their flower hair scrunchie. In fact, it is this one. And the reason that I picked the Lily Silk and particular a silk hair scrunchie was I cannot sleep with my hair down and I was looking for something I could put my hair up with that wouldn't leave dents in my hair that wouldn't cause breakage and all the research I had done said that silk scrunchies were the best and when I went looking online I really liked the Lily Silk product I liked the quality I liked the colors I really liked that this is basically the color of my hair I sleep in these every day I should say every night started with one the collection I bought all of these has grown to a few more. Now I said I would sleep in them every night, but sometimes I use them during the day, especially now that I don't go out very much. I'll have my hair up in a messy bun and I have found that these are the best tool to use for a messy bun, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. So after I jumped into the Lily Silk pool with the scrunchies, then I moved on to their pillowcases. And I sleep on this, not this, I have three of them now. I sleep on this pillowcase every single night. Just me, I have three in rotation. One that I alternate every other week, you know, the other one is in the wash. And then the third one I keep on standby. And yes, I travel with it. The reason I only sleep on these silk pillowcases now is because first of all, I love how cool they feel against my skin. I do get pretty hot at night now, and that's just an added bonus. But in particular, silk is really good for you to sleep on because it has moisture absorbing properties. It doesn't leave creases on my face, which is really nice. It is said to reduce breakage if you do sleep with your hair down on it. I just really love this particular pillowcase. It's great for my hair. It's also great for my face. And a particular bonus that I like about the Lily Silk pillowcases is there is a huge range of options to choose from different weights of the silk. And then in this case, you have your option of two different closures. So this is a hidden zipper right here. I just like how neat and tidy it makes the whole pillow. I'm gonna set that down. And I really like that this brand has a lot of colors to choose from because I'm a little compulsive about how I want my bed to look. And I like that they had a shade that exactly matched my sheets. So before we move on to the rest of the hair products, I do have to mention Lily Silk is known, of course, for their scrunchies and their pillowcases, but they do carry a lot more, namely clothing like this dress. Now I get where they say light as silk because it feels like nothing. They have, in addition to the pillowcases and the scrunchies and the clothing like blouses and dresses, they have full bedding sets, throws and like sleep masks. They even make face masks now, quite a variety. And I'm bringing this up because right now they are in the middle of their yearly anniversary sale where everything is on huge markdowns and they graciously gave me a code where you can save an additional 12% on everything on their site. And I'll leave the code here and down in the description box. And I do wanna say one more thing about the brand before we get into the meat of this video. Look how cutely they package everything. So this was one of the boxes that they sent the pillowcases in and it's just, folds up really nicely in a nice little box. It would make a really great gift, especially if someone is going away for school, buy them a couple pillowcases, gift wrap, send it on their way. But let's also talk about what else is going on with my hair. So first of all, if you follow me on stories, I think I mentioned it here, I did change hair salons. I have been going to an Aveda salon for over 10 years and my colorist moved out of state and it was just sort of the impetus I needed to find a different salon. I wanted one that specialized in biolage and I did some research online to find out which color formula, which brand of hair color seemed to be the best for blondes, more cool toned and Goldwell jumped up. So I did a Google search for hair salons in my area that carried Goldwell color that specialized in biolage. So if you're in the San Antonio area, I do go to hair studio Santerra and my stylist is named Jenny and I'll put that 
contact information below. And my hair is, I'm just so much happier. I didn't know that I was unhappy until I totally switched. And I'm just super happy with how it's going. I've only been twice, so we're still tweaking some color, but basically what I get done is a little bit of base color to cover some grays that I didn't even know I had just to the top, and then it's just basically highlights all the way through. So that is what you're seeing. You can see here, we're still working on some pieces that are really warm and brassy, almost red up in here. It's a process. So that's new with my color. I cannot tell you the exact formula. I have no idea, but I'm, I'm loving the process. And the bonus, it's less expensive than before. I was going every five weeks with color and highlights every five weeks. It's a lot. This is just a little bit of color and mostly just highlights, and I can go seven to eight weeks in between visits. As far as how I am styling my hair, I am happy to tell you, I know this is filthy. I'm still using my Revlon hair dryer when I do dry my hair. I still love this thing. I do use it on the high heat, um, and I do the round brushing in sections, and then I go through my whole head with the cool shot option that is on here as well. I also use this on my dry hair to freshen up, and I wanna show you that because I have started working out on a regular basis. Now I'm not gonna wash my hair every single time. I do have dry and color treated hair. That's not a good idea um, for the health of my hair. And on the days that I don't do cardio, I don't get particularly sweaty, but I do kinda of wanna freshen things up. So I do have a little trick that I wanna show you. The first thing is dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is your friend, even on clean hair I use dry shampoo just to add some volume but I have some new favorites this is more for just on clean hair to add a little volume generally freshen up it's from Kerastase it's their fresh affair refreshing dry shampoo I have talked about this before this is the full size I also have it in a travel size that is sitting in my travel bag if I should ever travel again and then there is a different brand it's like if you are if you have dirty hair like this is the last day before you can get away with showering or maybe really you've pushed it too far but you don't have time to wash your hair. This is the last ditch effort. It's from the brand IGK. And this is, I've used all of them, but this is I think the super strong one. It's the charcoal detox dry shampoo called First Class. This will suck up all of that oil. Anyway, I spray that through along the, um, my hairline and I kind of layer my hair up a little bit. And then I will run the, the hair dryer, I guess it's a hair dryer, through my hair just to kind of disperse it and fluff it up a little bit. I did style my hair a little bit differently today. So my new stylist has urged me to let my hair air dry as much as I can. It has been nice, especially since most days I'm not going anywhere, so it doesn't matter what my hair looks like in the morning. But a lot of you have asked me, how do you get that volume? And it's because I go to bed with it wet it dries pretty wavy and curly and big. And then I take this guy, I'm still using my hot tool protector. I love these things. I use my flat iron, straightening iron. I don't even know, what, I call this a flat iron forever. This one I've had for a few years now. I love it. It's from Paul Mitchell. It's from their Neuro line. It's one inch. I'll put the link below. It has adjustable temperature. I usually set mine about 390, 400. It has auto shut off. It's just a great flat iron. I like it because it has, it's hard to tell, but it has curved edges. And because it's only an inch wide, it's not on. I can get it right to the root, that really, right to my scalp if I, if I need to, because I do get some colics and stuff. So I love this. So many times, like today, and you'll see a little video of this, when I've woken up after letting my hair air dry, either I'll straighten the whole thing, and so it's, I'm only using heat on it once, or I'll just use the straightener to kind of go through at the roots and get rid of any like weird kinks uh, along the root line, like all throughout, I'll layer my hair out. And then I will actually put curl back in, but the way I want it to be curled, not the way my hair has decided to curl, which is all over the place. And I have rediscovered my love. I know I go through various styling tools. I rediscovered my love for the T3. Well, this one is, I think it's got the base. It has the base and then the interchangeable head. So this is the wand. It's the one inch wand. I love this. It, there's also one that has a tapered end. I don't like that quite as much. I like my curls to be a little more uniform. And the trick to using the wand, well, section off your hair is always helpful. But the key, if you keep finding that you're burning yourself, hold your hair, pinch the very end, and then wrap it around. You will find if you hold your hair from the very end, you're in less danger 
of setting fire to your skin or your hair. Look at the difference if I hold it like up here. Look how close I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail myself. Look how much of my hand is right there. It's inevitable. I'm gonna, as I'm trying to maneuver, I'm going to burn myself. So the key, hold it away and wrap. For me, I like to point the wand down. So this is first day curled and washed hair. Tomorrow, it'll kind of relax a little bit more and it just, second day for me is always the best. If I wanna hurry it along and make it look like second day hair, I will just take the flat iron and kind of just run it down the ends and it'll just relax everything just a little bit more. So that's how I've been styling my hair. That hasn't changed too much except for my rediscovery of the wand. Now as far as products, there's some things you'll, that will look familiar. I, I rotate through about three shampoos and conditioners. The one I always seem to go back to is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day system, the shampoo and the conditioner. I just ran out of the shampoo and my husband knows better, but he threw away the bottle. He forgot that I do empties. This is the brand I just always go, I always go back to. Then you also know of my love for the Colleen Rothschild line, the shampoo and the conditioner. This is the Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. I mean, oh, the smell alone, but it just, I love using it as a conditioner, but it's even, it's just incredible as a mask if you can just leave it on for 10 minutes in the shower or bath and then wash it off. Obviously I need to get another one soon. And then new to me, because this new salon I go to carries, they carry Kerastase and they carry Orbe, and I'm really excited to try some of the Orbe products as well, but I picked up some Kerastase, a lot of Kerastase. And um, the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using lately is from, now it's all in French, so it's hard to say, but it's their length strengthening line. Let's just go with that. So here is the shampoo and here is the conditioner. I like this line because I'm trying to grow my hair a little longer and stronger. And so this one is great, but there are a few lines that my stylist recommends like for color treated and blonde and so forth. You can't go wrong with any of them. I've also started using a couple different styling products. This one is also from Kerastase. It is their, it's smoothing, taming milk, anti-frizz, anti-humidity. If you live anywhere in the South, you're gonna need something like this. I do really like it. This is pretty much what I use every time I style my hair. It is the Colleen Rothschild Smooth and Shine. You should think I know by now. Smooth and Shine Hair Serum. I'll put this in wet. I'll mix it with some of the other stuff I just showed you. And I always use it when I'm done to kind of finish the ends and run along the top. And then lastly, the, again, I, I can't tell you how many of these I've gone through. The Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I love this so much. I hate this bottle so much. It's this push top and it's this tiny, tiny little hole. It always gets clogged with product. You can't get anything out. I'm going to buy a new bottle and I'm immediately going to decant it into like one of the airless pumps that I bought because this is a nightmare. But the product inside it is so good. And what I typically do is kind of cocktail my styling product. So I'll do a little squeeze of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Cream a little pump of the Colleen Rothschild Serum, and then I'll pick one of these from Kerastase. And then the last product that I have to tell you about is what I put on my damp hair first. I've been trying to kind of shop my stash and use what I already have, and I found this buried in a drawer and had forgotten I had it. I love it. It's from Redken. It's the One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. It does everything. Protection, anti-frizz, heat, heat protectant, like everything. So. As soon as I get out of the shower, I will towel dry my hair a little bit, spray this throughout, comb it out with my trusty wet brush, and, and then proceed with all of this other stuff. All right, I did promise I would show you how I started doing a messy bun using a scrunchie. And the reason I like using the scrunchie the best is because it's easier to work with and because it's thicker than the average hair tie, it gives me volume and makes my bun big. So I'm not gonna run a comb through my hair because I literally just did my hair. Let me turn myself upside down. All right, this is just for demonstration purposes. So you get it all up there. I like to flip mine over once, and then I double with the scrunchie. So now we have this situation, and then you just have to start, let me lean down. I'm gonna use the monitor as my mirror. You just kind of start pulling at it a little bit. Now, here's another reason why I love the scrunchie. You can, it's, it's easy to work with, so you can pull at it, and use it to tuck pieces in. My new favorite thing to do is take a piece from the back, like a pretty good size piece, and wrap it around the front 
this isn't going to be perfect because I can't see in the tiny monitor. And then because the scrunchie is so easy to work with, I can pull it and tuck the loose piece in. Then here's another piece. We'll wrap that around. You get the idea. This is not, clearly not ideal tutorial situation. But <laughs> it's not horrible. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. But I just wanted you to see the trick is one, use the scrunchie instead of any other kind of hair tie. It gives you a lot of volume. And pull a piece out from the back. You know, you can just start pulling. You get this big chunk. And then you can wrap it around. You get the idea. And that way you can cover the scrunchie if you don't want the scrunchie to be seen. But, and like I said, they have so many colors. They have a color to basically match all your different hair color. They have different colors to match outfits, all kinds of really pretty colors. So there's the general idea. And then what I really like is it's so nice on your hair. It's not gonna leave those crazy ridges in your hair. It's not gonna pull your hair out when you take it down. Your hair will be salvageable at the end of the day. So that was my hair update. Quite a few new products, particularly the Kerastase line, some old favorites like Living Proof and Colin Rothschild and Lily Silk. Thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring part of this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions at all about anything that I've talked about, please ask me in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and choosing to spend some time with me. I think a lot of time. It seems like a long video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.